So, Ghost Recon Breakpoint versus Ghost Recon Wildlands, and which game is better in 2022? Both of these titles had their problems, but Breakpoint got absolutely blasted at release by a lot of different content creators for the horrific graphics and gameplay cycle. The thing is that both games have had enough time to reach their full potential, and that is something that I feel Ghost Recon Breakpoint never actually did. There were a lot of features and updates and stuff implemented into the game that were really, really good additions, but I still feel they could have done a lot more with the title itself. In Wildlands, you have a full-on regional system with different leaders for each one, and that only came to Breakpoint towards the end of the game's lifespan. Ghost Recon Breakpoint tried to expand, and we saw things like a raid come into the game, which lasted all of about a month, and then people were bored because a lot of features were never actually cared about. There was a feature supposed to be added into the raid for modifiers, and they were supposed to change on a weekly basis. They just never bothered doing anything like that. There was also another feature being gear parts, so when you pick up a piece of gear, like at the launch of the game, when there's no immersive mode, we'll get into all that stuff later in the video. But when the game first launched, you had gear parts. When you picked up a piece of gear, you dismantled it. Those gear parts never ever saw a function in the game. And they won't ever see one due to the game having no more work done to it. They are finished. They have essentially, if you want to call it that, abandoned Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I say abandoned because I do feel they could have done a lot more with the game. And the potential was really, really there for Breakpoint, but it was never used. The lack of care from the dev team was clear every single time they added new things into the game. The live events were all copy-paste as an example. The AI teammate feature didn't work properly, and there was enough to probably talk about for at least half an hour. But it's not all bad with Ghost Recon Breakpoint. There is way more bad than even I've spoken about. Another thing, every single update they released for the game had you wait in around 6 to 12 hours to actually play because there were problems with the game servers and everything, with it being an always online title. There were a lot of issues when they first released updates. The maintenance used to have a maintenance for the maintenance. It used to be terrible with Breakpoint. And whilst I've spoken mostly about Breakpoint at this stage, and mainly in a negative light, there is good in the game as well. The amount of customization you get for your difficulty is miles better than Wildlands. You can push, like as an example, all the way to enemies being relentless. You can add to that with no heads up display or no HUD. You can also add in things like ammo loss on reload. There is a lot more to it as well. Plus, when it does come to Ghost Recon Wildlands, the graphics are obviously much more outdated. But not only that, Ghost Recon Breakpoint had a 60 FPS update for the current generation of consoles, making it a lot smoother to play. But with the smoother gameplay, you also have the movement mechanics and everything like that that just feels a lot more modern. And it's the exact same case for the Division games. The Division 1, a lot of people will say, is the superior game. But in the Division 2, the movement and all those mechanics just feel a lot smoother. They're a much better experience because they're more polished, they're a lot more up to date. And in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, the movement and other mechanics have easily noticed improvements. It will not take you long if you look at a side-by-side -side of the games. It won't take you long to realize just how smoother the gameplay, like the movement and everything is in Breakpoint. One thing I don't like talking about in these videos is the story to the game and other things like that that could ruin the experience of someone that's never played. Because whilst you are watching to see which is the better game of the two, I don't want to ruin things if you're going to think of buying one of the games or even both of them. I just like letting you know my thoughts on which of the games is better. But talking of customization previously, Breakpoint did initially launch with a gear score system and that made a lot of fans really angry. But they then added in something called Immersive Mode, which took the gear score system out of the game entirely, if you didn't want it there. Because whilst you had the Immersive Mode, you also still had the Standard Mode, so you have the option to choose which mode you want to play, with a gear score system, without a gear score system. I honestly think Ghost Recon Wildlands has a lot going for it, even being two years older than Breakpoint. The fact that just in general they did a lot better with the game in my opinion, they put a lot more effort in there, and it wouldn't take long playing both games to see how much more effort was put into Wildlands. If you just look at the open world as an example, there's a lot more going for it. There are people roaming around, there's vehicles driving all around the place, there's just life in the world. It definitely like, it adds so much immersion to the atmosphere and everything like that. But in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, even though you are on an island, 
They didn't think outside the box and do anything about the atmosphere whatsoever. They just kept the world empty, which was quite frustrating because the driving to and from missions was boring to say the least. And speaking of driving, when you are playing Ghost Recon Wildlands, yeah, the driving mechanics are a little bit bumpy, but it just feels so much better than Breakpoint. Breakpoint is all over the place. Sometimes you steer a little bit and your car don't turn. Other times you steer a little bit and your car will start doing barrel rolls. The driving mechanic is a dodgy one. Wildlands is by far the better driving experience in my opinion. There's been lots and lots of times where I've lost control of the vehicle due to no fault of my own. Whereas playing Ghost Recon Wildlands, I don't really make mistakes unless it is my fault. So the game doesn't make mistakes. It would be more me making the mistake. Whereas in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, it's more the game making mistakes because of the dodgy driving system. Another thing that's a little bit frustrating, I didn't really have much of a negative opinion towards this. But a lot of people from the community of the Ghost Recon games, they've had a massive problem with it. It did get frustrating from time to time. It was more frustrating than it wasn't. However, I just kind of got on with it and never really like kicked off about it or anything like that. But that is the social hub that you get in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. You basically go to this cave in the mountains. It's called Erewhon and that's where you pick up missions and stuff. And there's a shop in there and it just feels... It is kind of like a meh, like you didn't need to do that. I totally get modern day gaming and social hubs and things like that, but they should have separated the online to the offline and not actually force people to always be online to play the game. That way they could have done a lot better with essentially like a mission hub or something like that instead of making a social hub, forcing everyone to go in there all the time because it just... There was no point to it whatsoever. They could have done it loads of different ways and made it a lot better. But even though it's been way more positive towards Ghost Recon Wildlands, you just can't ignore that Breakpoint has much more modern gameplay in there. And it's a much smoother experience getting on with the movement and stuff in the game. They do also have a class system in the game as well that gives you different perks and stuff as you level it up. And you can change like to and from each one whenever you want. You've got a full on skill tree. You do also have a perk system and everything in Ghost Recon Wildlands. But I never really got into that system much. I just picked the class and I used it. So I can't really give opinions on it. Because I just picked one, put it on, leveled it up. Picked another, put it on, leveled it up. And just tried out a couple of the different ones. Never really paying too much attention to it. And to wrap this video up, if you are looking for the better gameplay experience, the one you're going to have the most fun with, I would 100% go with Ghost Recon Wildlands. Although if you just want a Ghost Recon experience, you're not too bothered about better gameplay, but you do want a more modern feel to your gameplay cycle, then Breakpoint isn't terrible. After all the updates they released to the game, adding Conquest mode, which essentially added the region system into the game, and also the addition of AI teammates might help you enjoy it even more and distract you from how empty the world can feel. And check out this video if you want to see other content on the channel. That's going to do it for this one. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.